You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. And just to clarify some things uh, up front and for the, we're going through a, a, a lightning storm right now. So if you hear the audio feed uh, go in and out, it's because we're experiencing some mild interference, but we'll power through it, right? Uh, this building was built to take on such occasions, right? Oh yeah. I'm your host, Dini. Uh, if you guys didn't know already, there are over 30,000 of you guys on the phone lines with us. So welcome. How you doing? What's happening? What's cracking? Hope you're having a beautiful day. I appreciate all you guys, uh, as always, for tuning in. You know, some of you guys are in the chat room. Some of you guys are on the browser. Uh, like I said, on the phone lines, Google Hangouts. I appreciate you guys, as always. Can you imagine what it would be like to live your life with passion? With passion, you cannot be stopped. No obstacle is too great to overcome. You don't listen to the experts who say it cannot be done. You get it done. You don't just think. You don't just believe. You know. And that's the difference. With passion, you see the big picture. Anyone who tells you that something is impossible only motivates you that much more. You do whatever it takes whenever you need to for however long it must be done. You are completely focused and driven and nothing can discourage or distract you. What is your passion? What gives you the energy to create, the will to persevere, the strength to grow? You have a passion. There is something that drives you, something that makes you care, something that you cannot deny. Find your passion and tap into its powerful energy. Take that from me, Dini Mussolini. That is my word and word is fun. Well, tonight's interview is the Hitha interview. And again, I'm your host, Dini, just in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> anyway, so our interviews go beyond the businesses, uh, the aspirations, the music, the films, and it's in the minds of people who create these marvelous aspirations. Uh, from researching our special guests, we mine for details, reading, uh, watching and listening to everything we can. Our interviews are designed to bring out the best answers possible through thought-provoking questions that have some real substance. So sometimes we're like TMZ. Uh, not, not really, but hey, let me have a moment here, okay? So tonight's guest, if you didn't guess it already, is Hitha. She's a singer songwriter who's making a name for herself online with her massive talent. And with that, let's welcome her to our show. Hitha, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How is it going? I'm great. How are you? I am doing well. I am doing well. That's good. So, you have this new single. How are you feeling? Are you putting any pressure on yourself? Well, I'm doing my passion, as you said before. Like, we put everything we have into our passion. So I'm not really pressured, just working hard towards the thing I love. Okay, cool. So let's start there. Um, well, actually, let's take it backwards. How did you get stuck on Journey? Oh, so, uh, so when I was little, I used to do classic kinetic singing. And that kept me a foundation because I always loved to sing. And so that gave me a good foundation for my pop singing that I'm doing now. So, yeah. About what age was that? Around four. Around four. Cool. And you're 14 now, right? 13. 
Awesome. Okay. So how long did it take uh, for you to write your first single, which is called Standing Up With Pride? It actually didn't take that long because it was based on my story. So ah. I put all of my emotions into the words and yeah, not that long. Maybe oh. two weeks. Two weeks? This is the first song you ever written like by yourself? Yeah, first song I ever wrote. Wow, and it didn't take that long. I guess no, when, like you said, it's, it's your 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 uh, talent for music is birthed from passion, and you know when passion is your driving force, like things come naturally, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about like the setting, like your mood, right before you begin to write the record. Um, mm -hmm. How you know? How was the process? The interesting things happening before the song. So before the song, I was actually pretty shy. I didn't talk to many people and like, I was always super reserved. But like, then I worked with my vocal coach and like I wrote the song. And so then like working out with him, like I became more like open and outgoing. Yeah, so a big difference. Yeah, okay. So let's dive deeper. Let's go let's go beneath the surface here let's talk about the the formation of standing up with pride like what was your heartfelt reasons behind writing this tune um so my heartfelt reason was to um give a message to everyone listening to the song and that message that i tried to bring through from the song was um no matter what you can always find your true passion um, and then you put your practice and hard work alongside with the talent, and then you get achievement. Mm. I like that. And I definitely do. Yeah, oh, go ahead. and it always ha it'll always have like a positive ending when you try your best, right? And you right. do the thing you love. Okay, I like that. So, can you tell us about some like uh, an earliest? memory musical memory for us like where did the love for it all come from i know you're 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 like four years old but out of you know those 10 years mm -hmm. what was your fondest musical mem memory okay so i'll do two because um my fondest hernotic memory um so my mom she used to sing the song that i loved and i and it was from Carnotic Music. And I wanted to learn that song, so that's what got me into that category of music. And then later on in my years, I actually listened to the radio with my family, right? And mm -hmm. I actually used to choreograph dances with my sister, and like I think that's my like pop music memory thing that I've had for the longest time. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> so what creative gems might still be left to uncover? I know this is probably like a wide open question, but what do you think like that can happen that's innovative enough to change the landscape of pop music, in your opinion? Um, I feel like things from history of pop can come back because that's happened a lot recently and like new old things are becoming are becoming more popular and coming back into style so I feel like that could happen true that who were some of your influences um so Demi Lovato my number one influence because ah. she's had a tough life like a really hard life but she still manages to find the positivity in all her terrible situations that's happened to her and she finds the not optimistic things and then makes them optimistic and then she breaks through it and then keeps writing and producing and it's amazing songs and like I really love her music too yeah yeah she's great yeah definitely yeah. so I know some artists are like album people and some artists are like single people and I don't mean like you know couples or you know relationships but song wise what does that phrase mean to you in your musical definition? Um, which would you say of those two would be more important for you to be now in this time around in the music industry? Right. Right now, I'm 13. 
um, mm-hmm. only in seventh grade, about to go to eighth grade. So I'm still going to be one of those single artists writing music and inspiring people. Okay. Well, no, no, no. I, I meant single as in like one song. Like, you know, some artists, is like, they don't really release albums. They just, they just release singles, like, over a period of time, maybe a single every three months or every two weeks, however fast, you know, that particular genre is moving. So, yeah, like, um, I also meant it that way because right now I'm just going to release single songs because to keep the, uh, keep the listeners on edge. And yeah. then maybe on in my future career, I could release albums, but I still have four more songs coming out this year. This year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So as far as like a visual res- res- uh, representation goes on screen, like music video wise, because you just released your video, I think uh, May the 14th uh, came out the yeah. same day single did so what's important for you to show the world um so in the music video there's a there's like a, a like a theme in the song where like it's black and white and it goes to color mm-hmm. so the message i wanted to get through is like when you become positive you have the um capability to spread your positivity and so that was kind of the theme of the music video to show as in the color going from me to everybody else as mm. in positivity spreading okay yeah I kind of know like the variations and, and colors there you know I, I kind of wonder about that so thanks for the clarification um, <laughs> no problem definitely so what's most important or the most important move that you plan to make for the rest of this year well, I feel like just keep on working on my music. I've already gotten pretty deep into this music thing, right? So I feel uh-huh. like I should just keep working harder on it. I feel also that if I just work hard and put my practice and like hard work into my talent, um, byproducts will just come from that. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, you, you're releasing four more singles, right? Before this year ends. Yeah. Um, when can we expect the next one? Three months, maybe. Around three okay. months. That's pretty, like, industry standard every three months. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You plan on dropping them all at the same time or letting them have, like, some breathing room? Yeah, maybe breathing room. So before I keep dropping singles um they're like soak in the next one and then then so have time to soak in the next one and like so on yeah any plans for like any live shows maybe again i said um everything else is a pot byproduct so if it comes to me then it comes to me and i will try my best definitely all right so let's talk about like some key roles to support um Played by others who are, you know, surrounding your life and music career. Tell us a story or two about some of these amazing people that have helped you along your way. Oh my God! Okay, so my <laughs> family number one. They are so supportive, and I can't like wish or hope for like better people because they support me through everything and like all like the problems and like my age too. I just turned thirteen. So like they've been supporting me through everything and like getting me get through the stress because I just finished my finals this week and mm-hmm. so like just focused on what I want to do. And second, my vocal coaches, um, when I'm having gloomy days, they understand and they're like, they do stuff to make me cheer up and they always know what to do. So I can't like hope for better support. That's great. That's awesome to have people like that in your corner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we are at the favorite part of our show. After the music break, it will be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat, and our fans love this part of the segment. Of course, along with the actual interview, but the audience gets to hear either uh, Hitha provide us with some vocals. Maybe she do poetry, inspirational speeches. Maybe she can freestyle rap, uh, drop some jokes or stories, or maybe play a live instrument. Well, you never know what these creative minds and vessels were producing the spotlight, and today we'll find out if Hifta has what it takes to be put on the spot, a test of a true artistry and maybe even some hidden talents. But for right now, we have Standing Up With Pride. And we'll be right back. She's running out of time She kept going on Cause she's standing up with pride Everybody said that she's running out of time She kept going on Cause she's standing up with pride Wants it to be easy But can't get off the ground She takes a step forward Then turns it back She's running out of time She kept going on Cause she's standing up with pride Everybody said that she's running out of time She kept going on Cause she's standing up with pride Start a new chapter Reaching for the top Time to take action Go What a nice voice that Hitha has. I could see her future being very, very bright. Very bright. So you guys got to keep your eyes on her. And just in case you need her social media links and her, uh, all her, yeah, all her social media links, YouTube, they're in the description of this episode. So all you have to do is click the link. It'll take you right to it. I just want to talk to you guys for a second about priorities. What do you want out of life? What are you doing to make it a reality? Everyone has dreams, but are you really pursuing them? Are you cruising along on autopilot, doing things out of habit? Have you ever just down down the highway and you just kind of coast your way home because you've driven that path so many times? That's what a habit is. Uh, It's something that you're used to. You can just blindly just like drive your life through almost anything. And that's not a way to live. Not at all. 
Are you making conscious decisions? Stay focused on what is really important and being true to your priorities. Life is lived in small increments, moment by moment. Each moment may not seem like much, yet it is the basic building block of successful, purposeful living. Look at every action you take. Listen to every thought you think. Are they leading you where you want to go? Are they in line with your priorities? Anything can be achieved through focus, determined effort, and commitment. If your life is not what you want it to be, you have the power to change it. It is not too late. You must make the changes on a moment-by-moment basis. Don't waste any time, guys. Live your priorities. Live with your dreams. Live with your goals and your plan of action. Live each moment with your priorities in mind. Act with your own purpose and you will have the life that you want. I guarantee it. Take that from me, Denny. That is my word and word is bun. Let's bring hit the back on for our hot seat segment. You're back live with us. So what are you going to do today? Okay, so I am trying to prove myself as a singer at the moment, right? Uh huh. And I did say I like Demi Lovato. Yes, you did. And I do have a current song of Demi Lovato stuck in my head at the moment. So nice. why don't I just sing that for you guys? Like, only a part of it. That works. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So should I just start? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, you see me standing, but I'm dying on the floor stone. Cold stone, cold. Baby, if I don't cry, I don't feel anymore. Stone cold, baby. I know that I try to be happy for you. Know that I am, even if I can't understand. I'll take the pain. Give me the truth. Me and my heart will make it through. E- That's it. Oh, wow. That was amazing. You have some power. Wow. Yes, definitely. You survived the hot seat. And I am impressed. Thank you. Definitely. So, let everybody know where your favorite place to hang out online so they can connect with you. Actually, so, I have my own website called hitha.me. Mm-hmm. And that's spelled H I T H A dot M E. And all my social media links are, you can go there through my website. You can find them on my website. So nice. just go there. Yeah. Cool deal. Guys, just in case you didn't get that, it's in the description of this episode. I typed it all nice and neat for you. So all you have to do is click. Denny made it very easy. Okay. All right. Thank you, Hitha, for joining us tonight. We definitely appreciate your time. And uh, we'll be looking for you because we know you have a bright future ahead. Thank you for having me. (laughs) You're welcome. Thank you, my Vigilantes family. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in, either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is key. Airing. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night.